Is the EA-837 block the same as the EA-839 block? No, they're very different no, definitely not. creatures. So the same rods and pistons will not work between the two motors. Um, we do currently have rods for both, and we are about to release B9 S4 pistons. Um, so if you really need pistons, we, we have them in stock right now. We can, we're just getting them added to the website. Um, yeah, but they are both V6s of the same displacement. Yeah, but Audi yeah. Arch architecturally, there's some similarities for sure. But yeah. No, it's, it's a the 839 is a new motor. Mm -hmm. How much power are the, are the upgraded B9 pistons, rods, main studs <laughs> rated for? You know, it's there is really no power ratings for this kind of stuff, but um, I would say if you built a motor with with our rods and pistons and all of our studs. I don't. I don't see why that motor wouldn't be like just fine for twelve hundred horsepower crank. You know, yeah. sustained. It, I would say probably the head studs would start being mm -hmm. the initial thing at that point. But again, it's really going to depend on the build. We need, to, and that's something that needs to be more of a conversation. Is like it's more about the torque and the cylinder pressures is where yeah. the stress is, not power, not the horsepower, um, because that can be done with you know more revs and less boost or you know you can have a torque that just kind of flat lines and, and yeah. you're making 1200 horsepower but the, you know a reasonable amount of torque so um yeah and there, there are so, someone came out with m you know those, wagner, wagner has m11s coming for the i know yeah, please so, i actually like worked on the project <laughs> so i know who who did it um but but there there are um you know our studs are, are M10, and someone came out with M11 studs, uh, which require you know re-drilling and tapping the block for yep. bigger threads, and then drilling uh, the you know, yeah, modifying the cylinder head for for the bigger studs too. Um, we don't know when one is needed over the other. Nobody knows. Um, I guess if you're willing to do the extra modifications, and we will, I'm sure, offer an 11 mil version um, as well. You can also do more with with the current size by going to something like tool steel, you know. So um, you, know, you go from like a, a high tensile strength chromoly ARP has like this inconel. Um, there are certain words, and yeah. then you you get to the point where it's tool steel, which is like very very uh, hard, um, very non malleable, you know, steel alloy. Um, so we can all we we can also do upgraded you know alloys above what we currently have which is substantially stronger than the factory ones so you know at, at this point nobody's built a 1200 horsepower motor you know it's, it's not really a thing so um, everyone's kind of figuring this stuff out still is there a gasket kit that you'll be releasing or recommended for a thousand horsepower build <laughs> everybody's going for the big numbers right now. um i don't i, I don't i don't and i don't see why the factory head gasket won't be any We'll, we'll have any we issue. haven't yeah we don't have any reason yeah. to believe that we have a problem yet at, at, at some point in the future um, you know the factory head gaskets are very good quality they're they're a multi-layer steel construction as long as they're clamped properly and um, the clamping force on the gasket is maintained they're gonna hold up to just about any kind of power um, but at some point you know you do the head studs so you, you continue to have more clamping force than pressure in the cylinder head and then you can even do things like adding you know copper uh, or stainless steel o-rings uh, into the into the, either the block or the head uh, which sit like one or two thousandths proud of, of the surface and give a substantially uh, increased you know clamping load uh, around the combustion chamber 